guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I take care of light colored furniture, specifically light colored couches. My previous couch was an all white couch and I recently upgraded it to a very light colored fabric couch as well. This one is by Article. I'm obsessed with it. I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I really, really love it. So I wanted to make this video because I think it would be very helpful. I wish I had something like this in the beginning of my light colored couch journey because I think that if you know exactly what to avoid and how to take care of the problems quickly you're golden a lot of people are scared of light colored furniture but you shouldn't be so if you guys are interested just keep watching so I want to show you my couch so you guys know what I'm working with at the moment this is just the Soleil couch from article i've had it for a couple of weeks and i absolutely love it it is very deep which i love so online it does look very very white but in person it is not that white it's like a mix of like light gray or light beige or like a grayish sometimes i also love the fact that since it is lower and i'm working with a smaller space it opens everything up and yeah article has like a flat shipping rate of 49 dollars which i think is great because i've been trying to complete my living room and i've been looking at coffee tables and the shipping for like any furniture anywhere is so expensive sometimes in some like vintage websites the shipping is even more expensive than the actual piece of furniture and i think they also have like different services where they can actually bring the furniture in and install everything for you at also very affordable prices if you guys follow my vlog you know that article did send me this but this video is not sponsored none of the brands that i'm going to mention in this video sponsored this video this is simply what has worked for me and tips and tricks that i have used things that you can avoid <laughs> that will help you. So before I get into stain removal, I want to touch base on things that you should be avoiding. <laughs> and a lot of these are going to be super obvious, but I've learned throughout the time that I've had light colored couches that you are just better off avoiding these things. The first thing, eating on your couch. I already know half of you are gonna exit this video after I say that, I get it. But when you have guests over, don't kick your guest off the couch. I'm not telling you to do that. But try your best while you're like living your day-to-day -day life to avoid eating on your couch. If you're going to drink anything on your couch, try for it to only be water, you know? Again, if you have friends over, if you have people over, there's not much you can do. But on a day-to-day, -day, I do not eat on my couch and Roger doesn't eat on the couch either. And I'm telling you this because when I had my previous couch, we would eat on the couch and that's like 80% of the stains that would happen was because of that. Another thing that is going to sound super dumb, but it has really helped me and kind of like given me a little bit more peace is buying these little tops for my mason jar. I just try my best to think of every little thing that I can do to avoid accidents and one of them is to buy these little tops for my mason jars because roger and i both love to drink iced coffee every morning and i mean now that we have the new couch we avoid drinking on it but if for some reason we forget and we just happen to sit on the couch and we're just hanging out i at least know that if this drops it's not going to make as much damage as if you know, it didn't have a lid on it. So these kind of things are not only good for avoiding accidents like on your couch, but it's also good to avoid any kind of accident, especially for coffee. I got these at Target and everything that I'm talking about in this video will be linked down below in the description as always. This next thing is my number one thing that you need to avoid when you're on a couch, okay? <laughs> any kind of oily substance. If you have anybody, <laughs> in your family or if you are somebody that likes to vape i do not vape but roger does and sometimes he would like place his vape on the couch by mistake or like his vape liquid would somehow end up on the couch or on some kind of furniture that thing does not like it, I have not found anything that takes it off if you guys have any tips on removing oil please leave them down below. Uh, thankfully, nothing has happened to this couch because he already knows. So I'm just letting you guys know all of the mistakes that we made that 
I need you guys to not make, <laughs> okay? Another thing that I would try my best to avoid, even though I know this is very hard to avoid, is try to keep your pet off the couch. Even if you think your pet is very, very clean, chances are it'll go outside and pick something up or rub itself on something, I'm talking from experience, and then they come back in and they bring it on the couch. If you must have your pet on the couch, then I would recommend buying them a throw that they know is theirs, putting it on a certain area on your furniture and letting them know that that's their space and that's where they need to be. I used to put blankets on my previous couch and my dog, knew that the only way he could be on the couch is if the blanket was on it he had to be on the blanket whenever i was cleaning the blankets he would not get on the couch like he knew and your dog can learn too so if you must have your pet on the couch try to do something like that so something i recently did once i got this new couch is i bought him his own little couch his bed kind of looks like a couch it has like a lifted space which is kind of like a cushion throughout the back it sort of looks like a couch he absolutely loves that thing so whenever we're hanging out in the living room and he wants to be next to us and he wants to cuddle and stuff i just put his bed like right next to the couch wherever i'm at and he's perfectly fine with it and since this couch is a little lower it's even better because he feels like he's there with us another thing that i recently got into that i wasn't into before but i think are actually very helpful are vacuum attachments like you would think your couch is clean until you use something like this. So I just have a regular vacuum. It's the Rocket. I think I got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below and it comes with these attachments. This is like a brush and this one is like a felt attachment. And this is awesome if you have a dog that sheds and you have like a fabric couch or fabric pillows. I also use these on my pillows. My dog's hair is like the hard spiky kind of hair that gets really, really stuck everywhere. And it takes forever for me to get it off. His hair just sticks to this little felt. Dust also sticks to this. And you'll be surprised how much of a difference vacuuming and using these little attachments makes on your couch. It just makes it look so much cleaner and like brand new. So I know that sometimes you just throw this in the little bag that it comes with and forget about it, but try to make use out of these. They're very, very helpful. Another thing that I really love and I've talked about before, but I also use it for practical reasons like this, are throws. I have a bunch of throws and I love them. I decorate with them all the time. And something that I love to do with them is just cover spaces you know i have an entire section of my couch that is covered with a throw so i know it's not the whole couch but you're covering your couch real estate you know you're 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 protecting it another thing that i would do is cover my entire couch with white blankets or like light colored blankets that kind of blend in with the couch i think it gives it a very like french or like parisian vibe when you cover your couch with blankets i personally love the way that it looks so i don't mind it i know that a lot of people don't feel that way and even though it's not bulletproof and obviously if you spill something very big it will go through but that's like an added layer that's protecting your couch and then if there is some kind of spillage or some stains or something on the sheets you just take it off and wash it the last little thing that i use to maintain my couch before i get into stain removal is this little guy right here and this is just a fabric shaver i got this on amazon and this little thing is great if you have a fabric couch you probably deal with some pilling you know there's not much you can do about it a lot of couches have this problem and there is a solution for it and this is just a little fabric shaver it looks like this it has the little dial in the back and you just turn it on it has two settings a higher one and like a lower one and you just pass it over all of the pilling and it shaves it right off so it makes your couch look 
brand new <laughs> because sometimes from sitting on it for so long and just having people over and stuff it does start pilling and it starts looking very worn and ugly and this just brings it right back i've already used it a couple of times you can see the fluff in here and it works perfectly fine you could also use this for your pillows and stuff finally we have our stain removal and i'm not a stain wizard you know if you have like crazy stains on your couch i don't know how well this is gonna work but i've had a lot of stains pizza sauce spaghetti sauce i've had an entire cup of iced coffee thrown on my previous couch i've had red wine everything you can think of besides like oil stains i've been able to for the most part completely take off my couch the first stain removal method that i have that has actually worked for me is this little guy right here this is a miracle worker i also use this for my clothes a lot of people ask me how i keep my whites so white and i also use this method for my white clothes so i spray this if i have a stain obviously if you don't have a stain you do not need this this stuff is strong but this will lift the stain right away and the earlier you catch it the better this is amazing it lifts like nothing else i've used this on my rug previously when i had my jute rug i spilled red wine on it and it was a huge spill and the moment i sprayed this you can literally see the stain being lifted up so if you guys haven't used this i definitely recommend it you're supposed to use it like right before you're going to wash your clothes this is not something that you want to let sit on your clothes because it is very strong at removing stains it's called spray and wash and you're supposed to apply this to the affected area let it soak in for a little bit no more than like five minutes and then go in and wash it with your regular detergent and then i would go in with like a scoop or two depending on the load size of oxyclean and that would just leave my previous couches slip covers brand new so if you have slip covers this is like a very very good method on maintaining your couch very very white i don't think you have a problem if you have like any other color oxyclean is not like bleach or anything like that it's not going to remove the color of your clothes it's just going to remove like stains and stuff like that but it does an excellent job at keeping light colors very light especially like white for this couch i haven't used this on it because again i've only had this couch for a short period of time so i haven't had like a crazy big stain on it yet since this couch doesn't have slip covers i can't really use that method but if you have a couch that has slip covers then this and the oxyclean is just amazing so the next thing that i want to talk about is newer to me i actually used it today because i recently had a small birthday party for roger like two days ago and somebody spilled like red velvet cake on my brand new couch <laughs> and i didn't see it until today so it was sitting there for like two days and this little guy took care of it so this is the shout advanced ultra concentrated gel set and stain scrubber according to the instructions you're supposed to also use this before washing because i think this is meant to be for clothes as well but i used it for this couch and it did work so i had a couple of red velvet stains and i did film this so i'll show you guys and i tried this out for the first time and it actually did work for me so i just followed the instructions you just flip it over and the gel comes out i first put it on my fingers and then i dabbed it where the stains were the stains were dry because they had settled there otherwise i would have dabbed it right away to try to get rid of the excess stain like if it's a fresh like wine stain or something the first thing you want to do is dab it with like a paper towel and try to remove any excess uh wine or whatever it is that has settled into the couch then you want to go in with your stain remover um, but in this case, I didn't have to do that. So I went straight in with this. I dabbed a little bit of the gel into the affected areas and then I scrubbed very, very lightly. Once you go back and forth and really get the gel into the fibers, then just try to scrub gently in only one direction. Just try to follow the natural pattern of your furniture. Do not try to go against it that much. So this worked very well it did get rid of the stain so i do recommend this i'm not sure how well it would do with bigger stains but it worked very well for that smaller stain so if you have a light colored couch that doesn't have slip covers and you can't really you know launder it then try something like this this has a little brush at the end now i can't do it with this couch 
But another thing that I recommend is flipping your cushions, like flip your seating cushions or like the back cushions as often as you can to try to get good wear out of everything and just wear your couch out evenly. I can't really do it with this because this just comes like in an entire piece. I can't take off any of the cushions, but if you are able to do that, try to do it. Also, if you get a stain on one side, you could just flip it over to the other side if you can't remove the stain for whatever reason. So that's everything for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any of your own tips or tricks or your own experiences with light colored furniture, please leave them down below. They are the centerpieces of our homes. So we really need to learn how to maintain them. And now that I have this new beauty, I really, really want to try to preserve it as much as I possibly can so that it lasts me a lifetime. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked out article, you definitely should because I really, really love them so far. Another thing that I really appreciate from Article is that they have a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. So if you're not happy with your furniture, you can go ahead and return it. They'll come and they'll pick it up for you. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video.